Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. FAA restricts drone operations over certain military bases. DJI looks at drone selfie market. Unique Breeze adds social media video streaming. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. All right, drone pilots, the FAA has just issued some new airspace limitations we all need to be aware of. Using existing authority under 14 CFR, Section 99.7 Special Security Instructions to address national security concerns about unauthorized drone operations over a current total of 133 military facilities. This is the first time the agency has published airspace restrictions that specifically apply only to drones. The FAA and DOD have agreed to restrict drone flights up to 400 feet within the lateral boundaries of these 133 facilities. The restrictions take effect on April 14, 2017, with limited exception. And please note that operators who violate this airspace may be subject to enforcement actions, including civil penalties and criminal charges. To ensure you're all aware of these restrictions, the FAA has created an interactive map online. The link to these restrictions will also be included in the FAA's Before You Fly mobile app within the next 60 days. The Secretary of Transportation will be establishing a process to accept petitions to prohibit or restrict UAS operations over other critical infrastructure and other facilities. The DOT and the FAA are currently evaluating options for implementation. The FAA is considering additional requests for restrictions using the FAA Section 99.7 authority. You're watching the AMA Drone Report on Aero TV. We'll be back with more in a moment. Hi, I'm Brian Wynn, President and CEO of AUVSI inviting you to witness the evolution of unmanned technologies at AUVSI's Exponential 2017 on May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. Exponential is the premier trade event dedicated to drones and robotics. See more than 650 manufacturers and solution providers in the largest exhibit hall this industry has to offer. Join us for more than 200 hours of sessions on key topics and issues such as commercial unmanned applications, public policy and legislation, beyond visual line of sight operations, counter UAS systems, data management, women and diversity in robotics, and much, much more. Welcome back. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The Drone Racing League has introduced its next-generation Racer 3 drone that will be used in the league's competitions this June. DRL founder and CEO Nick Habazeski says the aircraft is, quote, dramatically more powerful, faster, and more agile than the Racer 2. Racer 3 drones can accelerate from 0 to 80 miles per hour in less than a second, allowing the league to create larger and more extreme courses. The National Agricultural Aviation Association is asking UAV operators to do everything they can to avoid ag aircraft doing important, low-level work. Quote, while flying at speeds that can reach 140 plus miles per hour, agricultural aviators are unlikely to see UAVs, said Executive Director Andrew Moore. That's why it's so important for UAV operators to protect agricultural aviators in any way they can. San Diego has adopted new drone regs that officials say take into account the concerns of drone operators and enhance safety. The new rules allow the police to issue citations and fines for violations and were praised by SeaWorld and the San Diego Padres organizations. City Council members say that the new rules improve safety while not infringing on hobbyists. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Chinese drone giant DJI is reportedly planning an entry into the drone selfie market, but it is not yet known what the aircraft will be called. Media reports suggest that DJI has filed a trademark application for the name DJI Spark, but it has also been rumored to be dubbed the Mavic Mini. 
A video from an unknown source posted on YouTube reportedly gives a first look at a fully functional DJI Spark. It is not known who owns the channel or where they got the drone in the video. Photos leaked on a website, sb-dji.com, which has since been taken down, shows a small drone with fixed rotor arms and a two-axis gimbal camera. The source said that the camera has dual underside ultrasonic sensors and an optical flow camera. While those features do not suggest the small UAV will be a racing drone, drone sight droning on, opines that the aircraft's apparent rugged construction suggests that it could be used for that purpose. Other drones in that sector are priced between $300 and $500. One of our favorite drones from CES 2017, the Unique Breeze, will now allow users to stream live video to YouTube, Facebook, and other popular social media platforms through the Unique app. The company explains that, quote, with Breeze 4K, you can live stream to Facebook, YouTube, or your preferred output using real-time messaging protocol making the product even more convenient than before. Whether you're interacting real-time with your followers, sharing the game-winning play, or connecting with your family abroad, Breeze lets you tell your story your way live with those you care about most. Share your experiences with your social media audience as they happen. New features on the Breeze Cam app available on iOS and Android include stream in 720p HD, instant interaction with audience, Facebook, YouTube, real-time messaging protocol compatible, video recording via Breeze drone, audio recording via mobile device, and ability to name live stream recording. The Breeze was introduced by Unique last year. The aircraft with live streaming capabilities is currently on the market for $449, but recent leaks from DJI, as noted by our previous story, indicate that it is also planning a lower cost drone meaning Unique may have a battle on its hands in that consumer space. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.